Hey everybody, welcome on back to another episode of Straight Cut DIY. So, as you can see here, I am doing a voiceover for this video today because we seem to have had some audio uh, difficulties with the wireless lavalier microphone muting itself. So I'm going to be doing a little commentary here as we go through this video uh, showing you how I filled in the hole in the basement slab for the previous laundry sink. So here you can see uh, the new PVC pipe uh, coming up down here and I'm showing the old steel pipe that was previously uh, in the hole. Uh, this pipe was previously just packed in dirt. There was nothing holding it. It was just kind of sitting center in the pipe. Uh, there was no rubber Fernco fitting or anything like that. Uh, again, this is a 1940s house, so they kind of did things a little bit differently back in the day. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look here at that Fernco donut. You can see that uh, that's a clay pipe coming up out of the ground there. Uh, it was an odd size. I ended up having to purchase a custom-made Fernco donut uh, for this. I'll put a link in the description for the site where I got that from. Um, but it was almost $70 uh, with shipping and everything uh, to get that new donut made uh, to essentially put this 2-inch PVC pipe into. Um, so, you know, it, it's definitely um, the first time I've had to utilize one of these, uh, and it did take a little bit of doing to find that website since, you know, a lot of clay pipes vary in size and everything over the years. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look here at this next clip coming up. So here you can see I'm starting to uh, dig out a little bit uh, of the dirt and gravel that was left in the hole uh, just to get this uh, a little bit deeper uh, of a pour for the concrete. The basement slab actually is only a kind of like a rat skin scratch coat um, uh, about an inch and a half thick. So. Um, I want to make that a little deeper and here you can see I'm just tamping down the dirt uh, to get that uh, situated and getting that ready. So here I'm just taking a couple of measurements to see exactly uh, how deep this is, to kind of get an estimate how much concrete I need to mix up. Um, it was anywhere between three and a half to four inches uh, deep around the uh, entire opening. So, uh, you know, and in this case, it doesn't really necessarily matter. Uh, it's not like anyone's going to be walking over top of this. And uh, ultimately, this is all going to get covered up by the subfloor. Uh, so here I'm just doing the final measurements of the length and width. Again, trying to figure out how much concrete I need to get. Uh, so we're starting here with one bag, a uh, 60-pound bag of concrete. Uh, just dumping it down here into the mixing pail. And boy, is this stuff dusty. Uh, just getting some water sprayed on there, mixing this all up here. Um, you know, for, for all the more this is, this is the perfect uh, you know, method to do this. There's no need for a concrete mixer or anything like that. Um, so here I'm showing the uh, vapor barrier. Uh, this is a three and a half mil plastic vapor barrier that I got from the Home Depot and just getting this cut and fitted to uh, cover this up to help a little bit of the moisture from coming up. Um, and on to throwing the concrete into the hole. Um, you know, that was the first bag. I realized I needed a little bit more. So I'm mixing up about a half a bag of additional concrete here. Um, you know, this one got a little, a little too wet, so we're adding a little bit more in there to stiffen it up. And continuing to mix here. Uh, mix, 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 mix. 
and uh, as this gets stiffened up, we'll go ahead and start uh, throwing that into the hole and get ready for my big oops. Watch this pipe, the letters on the pipe. See how it shifted? Oh boy, was I upset. Uh, I actually had put the uh, cap on the top of that and the rubber cap and I pushed it down so far uh, that it decided to actually go further down in the Fernco uh, donut. So I had to use the shovel there uh, to help brace that to pull it back up. Uh, there you could see I was finishing off the concrete, making sure it was all plumb and everything, and just doing a little quick cleanup here. Um, which is a lot easier to do when it's warmer outside. Um, here's the Goldblatt uh trowel that I was using to uh, smooth everything out here. I'll leave a link down below to these on Amazon. I got a whole uh, kit of uh, various concrete trowels uh, and finishing tools in a, in a nice bag uh, on the Amazon. Uh, so here you can see me uh, making use of that a little bit. And we're just, again, making sure we're plumb in all directions here. Um, you know, just making sure things good. And, you know, that here I'm probably saying something uh, smart and wise about what had just happened. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here. I appreciate you taking a look at the video today. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below. This is uh, Straight Cut DIY. Until the next time.